the session. Let's discuss the following question. The question says, solve the following inequality graphically in two-dimensional plane. x is greater than minus 3. Before solving this question, we should know that a line divides the Cartesian plane into two half planes. And the graph of inequality will be one of the half planes. And we shall show the solution by shading in the corresponding half plane. We shall follow the following rules to identify the half plane represented by an inequality. According to the first rule, we have to take any point AB not on the line and then we have to check whether it satisfies the inequality or not. If that point satisfies the inequality, then the inequality represents that particular half plane containing the point. But if the point does not satisfy the inequality, then the other half plane represents the solution. According to the second rule, if sign of equality is also there with the inequality, then the line is included in the solution region and so we draw a dark line in the solution region. And according to the last rule, if we have a pure inequality, then the points on the corresponding line are not included in the solution region and so we draw a dotted line. With the help of these three rules, we will solve this question, so always remember these rules. Let's now begin with the solution. Given inequality is x is greater than minus 3. Now converting this inequality into equation, we get x is equal to minus 3. Now the two solutions of this equation are minus 3, 0 and minus 3, 3. Now we will plot these two solutions on the graph. So let's make a graph now. The two points which we have to plot are minus 3, 0 and minus 3, 3. Now the first point is minus 3, 0. This means when ordinate is 0, then epsisa is minus 3. So this is the required point. Minus 3, 0. The second point is minus 3, 3. This means when FCSA is minus 3, then ordinate is 3. So this is the required point. Minus 3, 3. Now according to the third rule, if we have a pure inequality, then the points on the corresponding line are not included in the solution region. And so we draw a dotted line. Now in this question, we have x greater than minus 3. We have a strict inequality. So this means we will join these two points by a dotted line. And this line will not be included in the solution region. So let's now join these two points. This line is parallel to the y-axis and this line is representing the equation x is equal to minus 3. And this line divide the plane into two half planes that is 1 and 2. Now we have to identify the half plane represented by the given inequality. According to the first rule, we have to select a point which does not lie on the line and then we have to check whether it satisfies the given inequality or not. If this point satisfies the given inequality, then the inequality represents that particular half plane containing the point. But if the point does not satisfy the inequality, then the other half plane, that means the plane which does not contain the point, represents the solution. As the point 0, 0 does not lie on the line, so we can take the point as 0, 0. Now substitute this point in the given inequality. By substituting we get 0 greater than minus 3, which is true. Hence, 
the half plane containing zero zero represents the inequality x greater than minus 3. Now let's look at the graph. First half plane consists of point 0, 0. So this means the solution region of the given inequality consists of first half plane. And since we have a strict inequality, so this line will not be included. Let's now shade this region. This is the required solution region. So, the shaded half plane first excluding the line is the required graphical solution. This is our required answer. So this complete succession. Bye and take care.